Naso Matto means crazy nose in Italian and refers to the man behind the brand, Alessandro Gualtieri. Now he's also known as the nose and he's been said to be one of the most avant-garde perfumers out there. Now, Italian perfumery, Alessandro is Italian, living in Amsterdam, uh, Italian perfumery is already quite well known for its artistic avant-garde style, typically compared to the more conservative or more classical French style of perfumery. So if you're one of the most avant-garde within an avant-garde style, does that make you avant-garde? That joke. Uh, before starting Nazomato, Alessandro worked for some larger perfume companies, but he grew tired of the confinement and the rules of the industry and didn't feel like he fit in, which made him itch to start his own thing. His packaging is out of the box and his marketing is extra artistic and unconventional and his scents are highly concentrated. It's très de parfum. Uh, meant to be unconventional, original, intense, and rebellious. Now, I just received this big fat sample of uh, Fantomas. I received it last week and um, thought of doing a review the next day after wearing it, but I needed more time with it. Um, so, wore it for three days, resprayed it a bunch of times because the longevity isn't that great. And um, now it's basically drained. There's hardly any left. So here are some of my thoughts. It was inspired by the villain from the 1964 movie with the same name, Fantomas, starring Louis de Funès. In the movie, the villain, Fantomas, is a sophisticated villain portrayed by Jean Marais, and he wears a very well-tailored suit. He looks sharp from afar, but up close there's something not quite right in the sense that his face looks rather deformed, like it's been shaped with clay. And that's because he's wearing a mask, a bluish gray metallic clay plasticine kind of mask. Uh, basically his villainous disguise mask. Now the presentation is stunning as always, and it beautifully depicts the juice inside. It has a wooden cap foiled with metal and apparently sharp edges with some mysteriously colored juice inside. I can see in the sample too, it's like bluish gray, quite a nice color, uh, that nicely matches the mask, the face of Fantomas the villain from the movie. Now, the packaging also wears a mask of sorts and has this lovely red see-through sleeve that would make you think that the box has a bloody hue, but that's just an illusion because Fantomas seems to be, after all, all about illusion, elusiveness, mystery, and smooth criminals and class. Now, I quote, Fantomas leaves an undeniable trace for further investigation, a lasting fragment embodying the wit and charm of a perfectly executed plan, a mysterious fragrance suitable for defiant circumstances that seemly evokes olfactory illusions with its continuous development on the skin, an idea towards a more harmonious world or its destruction, the smell of a sophisticated crime. Now, the movie's poster tagline, by the way, is men hunt him down, women look him up. And I see that in that it's Dangerous yet sexy, but also smooth and subtle. I sprayed my fingers. Mm. Now, Alessandro famously refuses to publish ingredient lists and instead describes the inspiration behind each fragrance with artistic teasers such as this one. It's me, Phantomas. A faceless melt that conquers your soul. A soul with no identity. You will never truly see me. You will always feel me. My presence remains even after I'm gone. Some may go mad, others will fall in love. From here on, an undeniable fragrance of sophisticated villainy will conquer the world. Ha, 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 ha. 
I feel more and more noses are starting to show disdain for the listing of notes. Um, and I'm wondering why. Is that because it takes away from the mystery or the art of perfumery? Or is it just annoying to be labelled or mislabeled and limited in a way? Um, anyway, the missing notes, again, add to the veil of mystery surrounding this fragrance. And again, I quote... Inspired by the most notorious crime scenes, the packaging is an invitation to investigate, explore, and draw one's own conclusions. Alessandro apparently also finds the idea of vloggers or bloggers guessing the notes rather silly. So uh, naturally, I will now try to guess the notes. Now, at the end of the day, describing fragrances by also including which notes you think you get is what people want to hear about before blind buying a fragrance to kind of see if they might like it or not uh, so it can steer people in the right direction but on the, other hand, on the other hand it can also steer you in the wrong direction because yeah people will also tend to swallow and follow other people's suggestions without smelling it themselves and if one person says it smells like melon then all of a sudden everyone smells melon because the power of suggestion is a very strong thing uh, or one person says it smells like lemon meringue and all of a sudden you see lemon meringue all over the place uh, so if you imagine hard enough it hard enough you can yeah you can you can smell anything you want that being said, Nazomato perfumes are meant to be part of an individual intimate choice without being led on the base of the listed ingredients. Now, the problem is if the notes aren't listed, people will just be led by the notes listed by other people or reviewers or people aren't from Grantica. So, for example, this one is supposed to open with a strong melon note. A lot of people are mentioning melon. But I don't get any melon. Uh, maybe some fruity esters and that it's a bit sharper and sweeter um, in the opening. But I have smelled so many fruity fragrances now for uh, in preparation of my fruity fragrance series. And this is not a fruity fragrance to me at all. Um, so admittedly, my skin does tend to eat or absorb sweetness like a sponge. And I'm usually left with the more the drier uh, woody notes, for example, because that is what I get here as well. A lot of woody notes and something like tonic um, and metallic that does remind me of blood. Imagine a masculine, handsome carpenter drinking milk or maybe even condensed milk from a metal cup in his workroom and he's sweating from working so hard and his sexy, clean, musky sweat drips into his milk. And maybe you just cut his finger from sawing some wood or something. And now he's trying to fish out the, the, the sawdust or the wood shavings from the milk with his bloody finger. And that is Fantomas. It opens up a little more cold and a little more sharp, but it quickly dries down to a warmer, drier, smoother, creamier, sandalwood, musky base, uh, resulting in quite a sexy skin scent near the end of the dry down. Um, and now this one lasts about four to six hours on me, or near the end, You can, it, it actually lasts a while, but it really turns into a skin scent. You need to dig in your nose to get anything. So the longevity isn't too great on this one, and the projection isn't either, it's, it's, except in the beginning. I, when I first sniffed it, I thought it was going to be a beast, but it's um, it's much more subtle. So basically, it smells the way the bottle looks, uh, a bit sharp in the opening, um, metallic or bloody even. Like the metallic blood smells or tastes a bit like metal, doesn't it? So that's what it reminds me of. And um, yeah, so crime scene, sophisticated crime scene, blood wood i don't know it it's fitting so a little bit bloody maybe from cutting your finger on the sharp metal edges of the cap and also a little bloody from the color of the red 
see-through elusive sleeve and it dries down to a sweeter creamier woody base just like the cap which is supposedly made from hazelnut wood that went through a vacuum metallization process resulting in a very unique wood versus metal look which really does encapsulate the scent inside quite nicely it's quite a contrasting scent warm cold hard soft synthetic natural in that i get some synthetic notes but it quite naturally blends into your skin um, and that does make my skin smell warmer and more sensual in a way uh, it smells like your skin but better so it's very subtle especially near the dry down like lived in skin slightly dirty but in a sexy way it's unisex very unisex leans a bit masculine uh, but i would definitely wear it it's so it's very versatile you can also wear it in any season i think uh, i personally would prefer it in colder weather but i think men could pull it off in any season um, now if i had to guess notes and i know i don't have to and i'm sorry alessandro if i offend you but um i would guess peppery sandalwood maybe some ambroxan and leather musk vanilla pepper fruity esters metallic blood uh yeah it's it's but it's rather subtle and more quiet than the other nazomati the nazomatas i've tried and i've tried i've smelled almost all of them uh, so it's more subtle but it still has a richness and some deepness to it if this lasted longer i would probably have loved this but it doesn't last very long on me so it's just the like uh, i must say i haven't disliked anything from nazomato that i've smelled so far and so yeah i, I definitely prefer these that i bought full bottles of and i have samples of of most of the line so not the best nazomato to me but uh still really nice so i'm not gonna buy a bottle but i also wouldn't have been mad if i had blind bought a bottle of this one so let me know below first of all do you smell melon and lemon meringue is it just me that can't smell that so do you get that and also what do you think about the whole thing of perfumers not wanting to disclaim notes do you like that does it add to the mystery and the i kind of like guessing the notes you know i know they don't want us to maybe but it's fun uh but do you like that or would you prefer they all didn't list notes or do you think it's stupid let me know um mm, so yeah that's it like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that and if you haven't found me on instagram then maybe that's an idea uh, i post much more frequently on there sense of the day with mini reviews and um and unboxings lots of unboxings with soundtracks that suit the fragrances that i'm unboxing and uh have a good day or evening and week a weekend Bye. let me give it one more spray to remind myself what it smells like even though i don't really it's basically finished <laughs>